Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Hall of Fame Scott Hall, my Hall of Fame Scott Hall at 6 star. Um, you may be asking if it's worth it to bring him 6 star. Well, to me it was because I had enough shards that I didn't have to convert any shards. So I think if he's shard free, there are a few reasons in particular why he would be worth it. One, Scott Hall requirements. Uh, two, uh, he's, a, he's a Hall of Famer that can do some damage. Um, three, he has a Titan Plate build. Titan Plate, if you didn't know, it's on the prize wall. Uh, part picker that everyone has access to now. Whenever you make eight or more Blast Gems, increase the damage of all your gems by 200% for two more turns. He's also focused. A lot of people lack a really good focus boss battle guy. And uh, this Titan Plate build, you can absolutely grow the damage. Uh, and not have to give up your stacks by swiping uh, most of the time. Actually, for boss, I would make an adjustment instead of Ray. I would add um, generate two extra um, green gems uh, trainer, or three if you have um, zombie Ray at six star. Then he'd be making nine random gems um, instead of six, and that would help the recycle. So the strap I have is not the best. I only have 90% base gem damage. You can see it's pretty terrible strap. Only one set of Fury 2 and not the good Fury 2. So there's a lot more to be had here damage-wise. I do have both sets of gear. That allows the Blast Gems. Um, so with this build, I'm actually making 13. And the gear starts with two more MP. So this setup is turn one ready in Feud as well. Um, he won't hit as hard as some of his other uh, counterparts, but also keep in mind i have two hollow stars and i'm not max levels you can see max level um i'd probably average 1200 extra gem damage per and filling the stars um would be easily another 1200 damage average per gem so like 2400 extra gem damage which is saying something considering some of these are as low as 6k um, and 8k that would be a huge chunk of extra damage so keep that in mind uh, moves we're going to run, Discus Punch, 8 MP Black, deal 64k damage, make 6 random gems into green. Gut Buster, 9 MP Green, deal 112k damage and destroy 6 random Blast Gems. And the Slaps, 9 MP Green, deal 77k damage and choose 6 gems to make into Blast Gems. Entourage, Steal for Green MP. Um, JBL for Blast Gems do 100% more damage since we have 13 of them. And Red Gems do 25% more uh, Santa Hogan, any color moves start with one more move point. Uh, any color gems do 2,200 more damage. Uh, the one extra MP for Feud. Also, though, keep in mind, um, with Ray in Feud, you if you don't have Santa Hogan, you could drop the JBL in favor of green MP. Or additionally, um, you could add a black MP trainer and start with the Discus Punch and just need one match. Um, of green to load your stuff so there's some options here um anyway let's get out uh on the tour here we'll take on priest at six star he's a full max out six star so he's gonna have more health than normally also has a class advantage so easier for him to kick out again keep in mind not even close to as hard as you could hit with scott hall um and then focus boss battle options at powerhouse your options kind of basically like nightheart and I think there's not a lot of other great focus stuff out there. And like I said, a lot of people lack a really good focus guy in boss battle. Um, so 13 gems, though, does let you blow up the entire board if you make an X. And then you just fill in the spots like so. You will blow up the entire board every time. Let's see if we get a cascade. See how hard we hit this first time. Little cascade. Uh, 2.5 million reduced to 2.3. Let's see what we do on round two here. So this one, you can see there's only three gems. So not really, uh, wouldn't recycle the green. A lot of black gems, though. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to lay the blast gems first. Then we're going to toss the green gems. You can see uh, no problem recycling there. That was 3.8 million on that one. And this one will probably do it. 
And I will do the um, same thing. Where um, I throw the green gems out there. Very nice cascade. That was uh, five million. You can see it getting bigger each uh, each go. So I feel like that would work really well for boss battle um, at a focus person as well. And certainly really solid for tours when there's Scott Hall requirements, especially if you don't have Technician uh, Razor. Um, he's going to be very useful there, as well as Hall of Fame tag links and stuff for showdown and what have you. Um, and then just in case, uh, we can swap the Ray out here and go with the extra gem generate. Uh, like you might use in boss battle. Um, also in boss battle, uh, maybe um, instead of, um, well, you could, you, there's a, some different things you could do. You take Santa Hogan out of there. Um, anyway, let's get Ray in here. Um, and you could use like Hollywood. There's just a lot of different things you could do. Because we're still making 12, because remember we have the gear. So. And now we're making nine random into green, which makes recycling um, pretty much a guarantee. And make my X. Let's go here, here, here. And we'll leave this side alone, I think. Still, we'll get most of the board. If not all of it, they might have cascaded into all of it there. Okay. So now it's kind of nice we took the extra gem generate since we didn't have enough greens on the board. Uh, that let us fill our move up when otherwise we likely wouldn't have, right? So uh, definitely makes recycling a lot easier. And... A very viable option. And what I would use for boss for sure. Two point seven on the second go. Didn't get a cascade. Let's see if we can put him down here. I don't think there's any guarantee. Um, being that this is a six star opponent. That, and then we're definitely throwing green gems here. A lot of loot boxes on the board. Don't love that. That's a nice cascade, though. Uh, five mil. And he doesn't kick out. So anyway, that's kind of uh, Hall of Fame Scott Hall. I'm not saying he's amazing by any stretch of the imagination. I do think he has his uses. And I do think with a Titan plate, he's probably better... Um, than most people think, or maybe assumed. Uh, so I certainly think he has his uses. Um, the other moves, if you were curious what they look like, uh, Outsider's Edge is 418k on the finisher. Toothpick um, Flick still gains 6 red MP, uh, still choosing one row to destroy. Uh, 6 random into red here, and then make 3 random reds into column breaks. If you were curious what it looked like, but I feel like uh, this with the Titan Plate is really kind of the build for him. Um, so if you don't have yourself uh, a good Hall of Famer powerhouse, which is basically Hall of Fame Taker, he certainly can fill that role. If you don't have a good Scott Hall, he can fill that role. If you don't have a good focused boss breaker guy, he can fill that role. Again, be careful about just willy-nilly converting your shards. I had enough shards that he was. Uh, I didn't need to convert any. In that case, I think he's absolutely worth it for anyone um, but if you have to convert shards, I'd be a lot more choosy, um, in who you take. There's also, a uh, Zombie Ray at Focused, I believe. Let me make sure. Um, let's look at the powerhouses real quick. I know Nightheart. I think, actually, Ray is aggressive. So let me sort this by class, and we'll see really quick. Actually, Ray is aggressive. Focused, I think, is literally just Nightheart. Um, chaotic, aggressive... Pretty sure he actually is aggressive. Yeah, he is aggressive. 
So, yeah. Uh, Nightheart really is about it right now for Focus Powerhouses. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoy this video. And uh, let me know if uh, Hall of Fame Hall surprised you or not. And remember to like, subscribe, and share as that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there.